So, welcome to my boudoir, mainly courtesy of Ikea, um, such as the expat's life. Now many people tell me that this room doesn't really represent my husband very well. Well, fair enough. <laughs> this is my space. This is where I come when I want some peace and quiet. And the reason I've brought you in here is to introduce you to my wardrobe. Or closet, as they call it here. And there we have it. And this weekend, I figured I ought to walk the walk, rather than just talking the talk on the blog. And my closet was pretty clean and tidy anyway, but I just gave it a little brush up. So... The back here, these doors are really difficult to open, but at the back here I keep all of the vintage things that I don't really wear, they're just bits that I collect. So this part, the bit that I can access really easily by just throwing the doors open, are the clothes that I tend to wear the most. So on the bottom rail I have all of my blouses, tops, jumpers. Have some hats which ought to be in hat boxes really but because I use them so frequently now they're just out on the shelf trousers scarves look what I bought this weekend how cute is this it's a little handbag scarf holder I'm quite taken with that bed bath and beyond if you're interested and I got this cute little belt holder too these were the two things that I did actually sort out this weekend because I've been meaning to for ages then up here I have boxes with handbags in. Over in the corner, I don't know if you can quite see, but there's my vintage handbag collection, or some of it. There's more, more of those over there. They're my favourite too, hence the reason they're out on display. And then here are my skirts and dresses. Again, at the back here, I tend to keep all of my evening dresses that don't come out so often. Just because, as you know, I like things to be easy and practical. If you can't get to it, you're not going to use it. And then, down here are my shoes. So, the really anal, organised perfectionist part of me really really wants to go and buy some of those beautiful clear boxes and put all my shoes in them um, alternatively I want to invest in a Polaroid camera so I can put pretty pictures on the front but wisely probably my environmentally concerned side prefers to recycle and reuse so I tend to use the original shoe boxes or any shoe boxes and just label them and I don't have that many that I can't remember what shoes I've got on them. So I tend to have my nice shoes, my pretty shoes, in boxes. And then I have a big tub full of just all sorts of slip-on type of shoes, flip-flops and sandals and what have you. I'm going to show you my latest purchase. Well, actually, these aren't my latest purchase. I've been purchasing a few shoes recently. How cute are they? Poetic license. I love them. Nom, 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 nom. And then my other purchase recently is these. Aren't they cute? I love them. Did you notice that I have my sewing dummy all dressed up? Makes me very happy to come in here and see her. She's in a Vivian of Holloway petticoat, a victory jumper, 1940s victory jumper pattern used by me to knit the jumper, a Vivian of Holloway cinch belt and then this is a scarf that my friend's mum has recently knitted for me. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's like a feather boa but it's wool. I love it. It's not quite the year for it but I love it. So there you have it. My quite tidy and organised 
deposit.